What's going on guys and welcome back to the one and only Bacon's Drinks channel here on YouTube. And guys, it is getting unbelievably cold down here in the south right now. I believe for the next two days, it is slated to get anywhere from 17 to 19 degrees. And we are actually in a winter storm advisory warning, which, you know, for Louisiana, that like never happens. So naturally, everyone's freaking out down here. They're storming the grocery stores, buying up all the water, toilet paper, etc. It's just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Like down here in the South, we have no idea how to handle cold weather. And plus it's only gonna be a freeze for a couple of days. So I have no idea what's going on, but that's human nature for you. It's a strange and uh, fickle beast. But nonetheless, it is pretty cold down here. And whenever it does get this cold, my brain goes into one of two gears. The first gear is to sip on something warm and get cozy by the fireplace. And the second is to sip on something tropical, something that kind of takes my brain on a tropical escape, on a beach far, far away from all this cold weather. And today we're gonna to be doing the latter. Today we're gonna to be getting back to this channel's roots and we're gonna be doing a tiki cocktail yet again. And the cocktail we're gonna be doing today is called the Puka Puka Punch. There is many different variations and recipes for this particular cocktail out there, but the one we're gonna be sourcing today is from one of my favorite books in my collection called Easy Tiki. This book is incredible for anyone that's just now getting into the tiki or tropical cocktail genre. There is no better book to start with than Easy Tiki because what this book does, it takes a lot of those old and classic tiki cocktails that are traditionally prepped and ingredient heavy and boils them down to just a few ingredients while still capturing the essence and the flavor profile of their original counterparts. So in summation, if you're looking for a new tropical cocktail book or if you're just now getting into the world of tiki, look no further than Easy Tiki. It's also a great buy on Amazon right now. I believe it's anywhere from 11 to $12, which is actually super cheap for a book of this quality. And as far as the history of this cocktail, per this book, it is likely named after the book of Puka Puka, a lone trader on a South Seas Atoll by Robert Dean Frisbee. This book also has a great description of the cocktail that I couldn't do any better than myself, and it is as follows. The Puka Puka Punch is a Baroque concoction consisting of multiple rums, myriad tropical juices, and syrups. And guys, today's particular spec from this book is actually from a bartender by the name of Jane Danger out of New York City. All right guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to making the cocktail. So we're actually gonna build this in a shaker tin today. And first we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. All right, perfect. And then next we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice. And guys, remember it is winter and good citrus is kind of hard to come by, at least down here in Louisiana. Uh, a lot of the citrus that I uh, pick up on the shelves at my local grocery store, uh, they're all kind of soft and kind of mushy. So that tells me they've been sitting on the shelf for quite some time. So just be careful um, and pick the correct citrus. All right guys, next we're gonna be doing three quarters of an ounce of passion fruit syrup. I'm using Liber & Co today, which is absolute delicious and one of my favorite passion fruit syrups to use. All right, perfect. All right guys, and last but not least, for our sweeteners, we're gonna be using a half ounce of two to one rich honey syrup today, and I'm using clover honey, by the way. All right, perfect. All right guys, and now we finally get to our rum base. Jane calls for one ounce of blended aged rum, and she said she prefers Plantation OFTD, which I have no complaints about. Uh, Plantation OFTD is one of, if not my favorite, uh, overproof rum on the market. It is absolutely delicious in every way and it is a multi-island blend of rum. And once again, we're gonna be doing one full ounce of this today. All right, perfect. All right, and last but not least, Jane calls for one ounce of a blended unaged rum. She said she prefers Banks Five Island, which unfortunately I don't have. It's actually pretty hard to find around here. So in its place, I'm gonna be using this absolute delicious Angostura White Oak, um, which is a blended white rum as well. So we're gonna do one full ounce of this today. All right, perfect. All right guys, and that's it for the bite of the cocktail. A pretty small ingredient list compared to a traditional puka puka punch recipe. Let's go ahead and get to adding our ice. All right guys, I'm gonna do one scoop of pebble ice, approximately four ounces, straight into the tin for a quick whip shake. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a seal in our tin and go ahead and get our snifter glass ready. Let's go ahead and give it a shake. So you wanna shake just long enough to where all the ice melts so we can get that desired level of dilution. All right, that should be about good. All right guys, and next I'm gonna pour unrestrained right into our snifter glass, just like that. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and get the other little bit out of the tin there. All right, let's go ahead and fill the rest of the way up with ice. 
All right, so I'm just gonna top with uh, pebble ice here. All right. Almost done. One more scoop should do it. All right, that is about perfect. All right guys, now it's time to garnish. The book calls for a mint sprig. I'm gonna be doing a small mint plush today, which is several mint sprigs put together. So let's go ahead and express our mint oils and get those nice and fragrant. Let's go ahead and put it down into the cocktail just like that. Perfect. And we have one more garnish we have to do. The book actually calls for a garnish of Angostura bitters. So I'm gonna be a little lackadaisical with this today. I'm just gonna take this bottle and we're gonna do two dashes over the top. One, two. That was a little sloppy, but um, it looks decent nonetheless. All right, guys, there it is. The Puka Puka Punch by Jane Danger from the Easy Tiki Book. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. All right, guys, I would normally sip this cocktail off the ice like I like to do with many of my tiki cocktails, but since we have that bitters float on the top, uh, of course, you don't want to sip it off the ice because you're going to taste just bitters on the first sip. So I'm using a straw today. Uh, this is a bamboo straw that I bought at World Market. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it down there just like that and uh, activate that mint one last time, and uh, let's see what we got. Mmm, that is absolutely delicious. So first, I'm getting that incredible combination, and to be honest, one of my favorite combinations in tiki, which is orange juice and passion fruit syrup. They just work together so well, and I would honestly put it up there with the likes of Don's Mix, which is grapefruit juice and cinnamon syrup. It is that good to me. And then, of course, we have that incredible clover honey that has some citrus and floral notes coming in to give the drink some much you know, needed body and to add an extra dimensional flavor. And last but not least, I'm getting that incredible rum base. Um, it's actually quite punchy, and it cuts through the ingredients quite nice. Um, Jane selected this particular rum base because both rums she used were blended rums, especially the OFTD, which is a multi-island blend of rum. That way she was able to achieve the flavor profile of four different rums in just two bottles. And also guys, as we sip on the cocktail and as the ice melts, those bitters that were floated over the top will slowly make their way down to the body of the cocktail, adding an extra layer of complexity and depth of flavor to the drink. And guys, in summation, this cocktail is absolutely delicious and it achieves exactly what I wanted to do. With every sip, I'm transported to a tropical island far, far away, away from this cold weather. And with that, guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more of my content in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you could, please leave a comment that gets the algorithm going. And with that being said, guys, my name is Patrick Bacon. And as always, have a great rest of your week. And I will see you guys next time.